Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on quadratic word problems. This is a really interesting problem. So basically we're giving a red triangle. There's a lot of verbiage here. It says the length of hypotenuse. Let's put a hypotenuse here. The red triangle, length of a hypotenuse is, which means equals, one centimeter more than short leg. Let's call this one short leg. Then obviously this becomes a long leg. So the equation for the first sentence become a simple, we got a triple, triple of the short legs. So, so h is equal to one plus three of the short leg. And that's the first equation. Second equation says the length of the longer leg, we'll call it L, the one centimeter less, so something minus one, and is triple of the three short leg. Triple of the short leg. Okay, so second sentence got into an equation as well. Now you notice there we have three variables. Obviously we need three equations, otherwise the system cannot be solved. And the last one is h squared is equal to s squared plus l squared. I don't know about you, I have no interest of squaring those things, and they're nasty, it looks like. However, here's a trick. If we move L square over, we end up with a diffus square. H minus L, H plus L equal to S squared. It's referred to as different square because A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B times A minus B. The reason I want to do that is I don't want, I don't know about you, I, I don't like square things. It gets messy. Okay, now the trick is how do I find an H minus L and H plus L? Well, let's take a look at what I have. H here is equal to 3S plus 1. L is equal to 3S minus 1. So obviously H minus L is not too hard to find. 3S plus 1 minus 3S minus 1. Then I have 3S plus 1 minus 3S plus 1. So I have 2. This part is 2. So mission accomplished. It's almost there. All right. Let's take a look at H plus L. 3S plus 1 plus 3S minus 1. I have a 6S then. 6 times S equal to S squared. Hey, that's not too bad. Okay. Now, if you don't see this trick, it's no big deal. It's one of those things as you get more and more uh, more experienced in math, you'll pick those things up. I bet after this video you've seen this trick once, and next time you'll know. So here I have 12s is equal to s squared. Let's move it all over to the same place so I can factor it. Okay, s here, 12 minus s is equal to 0. s equal to 0, obviously that's not possible because I have a triangle. s equal to 12. This looks good. If s equal to 12, then hypotenuse is equal to 37, and long leg is equal to 35. Okay, now if you substitute back in the hypotenuse uh, Pythagorean theorem, this answer actually fits in pretty well. All right, and as a matter of fact, we probably should have put units on just to be complete. All right, okay, hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.